should come up in a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna hide my things. Yeah, I just. Oh no, I'm gonna choose a almost black but not quite black color for the background. I'm just gonna do mine the full size of my screen. Oh okay. Can I get this to pop out? Window, window view, no space. And a bit brighter for the ground, is it? Uh, no, I'm uh, yeah, a little bit. I'm gonna put it almost a mid, mid size. I'm gonna shrink my brush size just to create a slightly harder edge. Also, you can call that your horizon line, essentially. I mean, it's just going to be like a table, but... You want to do one circle or more than one circle? Do top of the shape, I guess. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do it's a bit lighter than last time, but it's fine. I'm just gonna block the shape in there. Um, and then we can have a triangle, I guess. Well, that's kind of look like it fits. And I'm gonna draw a box. Where would you like to try and draw the light source from? Like a, a natural light source on that video f that guy did, or a different angle? From top left. Should I fill in my shapes like you have? Um, you can leave them there if you want them as like that guide, but I I haven't because I'm gonna start off as like this base color. Or should I fill them in that base color? I would uh assume so. I just have the outlines. Yeah. Uh, front left or top back left? Which do you want front more left. from? Front left, okay. So then 
we would pull the shadow back that way. Um, where would triangle cast a light? Like that? That had a lot of understanding to be done in my head. In a box, front left, uh, just slightly back that way. And closer to the sphere than the box, obviously. Closer? What do you mean? Light. Um, I, it doesn't matter, we can yeah. do it same light source for each of them. So it's like, you've got a light source there, kind of. Like so, each of them is kind of... Uh, we'll maybe do a pass through now. Kind of like the light sources here, here, here. Same thing, just from over this direction somewhere. So did you take the color from the thing and make that the shadow? Yeah. Just sort of blocking in that um, base shape and thing to work from. Obviously your shadow would be more dense the closer it is to the object. Okay, can I have a second to think about the brush I want to make for that? Mm -hmm. Sure. You can like save your brushes as well if you like them, I think. I can, yeah. I just want to get good at like making them on the fly. So I want the harder I push, the more flow I want. Flows too much. And if you can learn to draw spheres, squares, different shapes with different lighting, um, you should be able to draw anything, basically using those shapes and combining them to make, you know, other things. Sex. I'm just really having problems like getting the ignore okay, ignore this back part. This, this is just there's nothing there, it drops off. You don't need to put a funny shape up like that. Just imagine that this No, it's here... actually just the brush shape. That was fine. And the cube doesn't fit. <laughs> Wait. Um, you could resize your canvas. I thought I had a solid fill layer. I don't have a solid fill layer. Just clone it. 
so you can clone the bottom half as well, I guess. I have no idea where my thing went. Oh, it's out of this end too. Oh, sweet Jesus. No way. Us, I'm not enjoying the Wi Fi as a piece of technology. Why? Just difficult to use. Takes a lot of getting used to. All right, imaginary box. <laughs> well, I guess I better. Oh well, that's a thing. I'm just neating them up. Just like flatten off the top of your box. Um and then just neaten the the edges. Yep, nope, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate this. Is it stuff. directly in front of you? Kind of. <laughs> I find it funny you drew a 3D triangle, but you can't draw a box. It's the brush, it just keeps... Right now it's like, oh, there we go.
Are you drawing with your wrist or your arm? Wrist. Try draw with your arm. No, I tried that earlier and it was fucking horrific. <laughs> you should, like, draw with bigger movements, not small, scratchy ones. It's hard to do, I know. Like that. Like what? The box? Oh, that's the box. I'm proud of you. You have a box now, at least. While you've been doing that, I've been planning out the um where we're gonna need to put the shadows. <laughs> this is so complicated. Holy fucking shit. What? Okay, so how are we gonna do that? We have the base color of the shape, is it? Yeah, so we've got the base color. I want you to choose a... Uh, whoops, 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 what's happened? Playroom is invisible. Okay, cool. Um, Yeah, you can do this on another layer if you want, because you might need to rub, like erase things and, and stuff like that so i suggest doing it on another layer i need to find i can just make things easier for you to see um view oh i can tab we're just in gonna focus on oh, the excellent. circle right now we're just focusing on the circle yeah i think it would be better to focus on the square or something maybe or the triangle if i stream to you could you look at what i'm doing and you are streaming, just... I, I can see. How live is this to you? Uh, well, tell me what you're at now. I'm literally about to look. I want you to do something or write something as you're saying it. Letter R. And I can tell you. Okay, wrote the R now. Like, okay, can you said, okay. watch the stream for a bit and just like direct me on like, what to do? Okay. So this is the kind of brush I got right now. So if I do really light strokes, like I'm talking beyond light, like that. Do you have pen tilt? No. Okay. I can put pen tilt on. Because if you put pen tilt on, you know when you tilt a um a regular pencil or something, mm -hmm. it can effectively do things like that, but it could complicate things more for you. So it depends on what you want and what you like. Is it you could a attach pen tilt to opacity or pen tilt to size? You can choose it to just like one one thing that it affects. So you can like tilt it, like do it sideways and it'll do it a certain way. Um, or you have it straight on and it just does it a different way. You know, it's up to you what you want. Pen tilt is doing literally nothing. Um. Hey, there we go. What does the pen tilt do for you? Uh, it gives me like a roundness thing now. Okay, cool. So, your light source is coming from the top left, right? And slightly from the front. Yeah, so you're going to have to tell me what to change in my pen and everything. What you're like, oh, the settings need to be like this and all that. So the light but I wouldn't know that. You can, you can do this essentially with any pen you have. You can do it with the hardest brush available. You know, you can do it with whatever. It just might take different effects, really. You know, know. your style will look different. But... Ooh, tilty. <laughs> now I'm just blending it in with the score. What should I fill in first? The light, is it? 
Um, it's digital, so it doesn't matter whether you do light or dark. Do you want to set where your light is coming from? Because that could help you in the projecting the shadow. Mm -hmm. Up here. Where the fuck is the tilt? Off. No. <laughs> You could start off with tune shading. Yeah, no, I just can't get this to... You can blend it in using the smudge tool. Cheating. Even I know that's cheating. It's not. It's just a technique. Um, Using... Like, you can either paint it in, so you can paint it in and let the brushes create that tone and shade and light and whatever. There we go. Your okay. brush is getting very small as you go down and I don't understand why. It should be the I'm reducing the pressure. Okay. So... Because that's making it harder, because with what you're doing, you want things to get, like, lighter as you go out, not more condensed, you know what I mean? That should work. No, I, I set it to dial, but it's not, I don't know if it's working. This is... Ah. That explains that. I just can't do it while I'm brushing, if you get me. I find it funny because that little scribble you did at the bottom makes it look like you have a like reflected light, like highlight hitting, um, hitting the shape. It's kind of funny. Are you on an extra like a new layer? No. Oh. I did suggest it. <laughs> I, for I, I forgot. It's okay. Yeah, how would I make it so the brush gets bigger with, or bigger with, I want the brush to get bigger with pressure. Then but I want you... the flow to go down. Uh, pressure, pen and pressure on both flow and, um, opacity. And then you'll just have to mess with which one it's set, in, set to. Oh, 
I wish you could like invert the pen pressure if you get me. What's on that box beside it? So where it says pen pressure, does it have an option to choose nope. reverse of that or not? File, aid. Was... Say you probably would. And change the percent maybe? One million percent. <laughs> Not fading slow. Is that with you taking off pressure or adding pressure? Okay, what can I do to fix the status? Fix what? The this. pen or? No, oh, any of this. Drawing. Help me. I mean, it's not bad as like a basic round shape goes. Um, the top part would have um, like a. Depending on the material, obviously, because some reflect the light and you can see it reflecting. Um, but. The top part would be a harder shape, right? Let's say we're making a bowl that's made out of stone. It would have a hard edge around the top where it hits the dark shape behind it. Well, today has gone as well as I thought it was going to go. <laughs> so, get a mid-tone of your light and dark. And, <laughs> okay, one thing to drastically improve your sphere. You're painting across, like, a, a, a circle. But you're painting a 3D object. So think that everything would radiate out or in from like the sides. Honestly, try just getting like the hardest brush you have. Um, let me see if I can find one as well to show you. Can you see my stream still? Yeah, I have a hard brush. Okay, cool. So, uh, we've let's get a dark color. Um, let me just make that bigger so that it fills that space. Okay, so that's that's my my circle right now, right? All right, this X and measure this. Bin and bin. I've just done it with black. Edit. I'll be back in a few minutes.
back hello 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 i'm back so what's up what do you have to go for um my mom just came upstairs but um yeah so like i'm just gonna do this right now and then I'm going to choose a very big brush and just fill it in from like more towards the point where the light's going to come from. It's like it's like a, a moon right now, right? And then I'm going to make it smaller again and I'm going to do the same thing again. And I'm going to keep reducing my darkness of the pen. And I'm going to keep doing that. And reducing size when I need to. Until you get like left with just like the white highlight. I'd ever remember to put shit on different layers. I've done this all on one layer. So like no. all this uh, circle. You laughing on your stream or watching my stream? Look at this. It's horrible. It's not. Just um, make that a circle. That last little highlight you have. Just make it a I circle. I felt demotivated. Make it a circle. And then what we're going to do is you have that light lysis color and want you to get like a slight increase from it hmm? um maybe reduce the opacity a bit on your brush maybe reduce the size if you want to uh, you said blending was cheating i'm gonna teach you to do this the painterly I way i know okay so what am, what am i doing so i have to get my so brush your highlight 
take a few notches up on that highlight, right? So it's going to be a little bit darker and it's going to smooth it out. Well, like from down a bit here, is it? Yes, yeah, so like from the edge of it, like from where your color is, like where your highlight was, you increase the darkness, I guess. And you just like paint into that, you know, just bring that down and up into the highlight. You want like a mid color. So you're painting with the underneath color there, the dark one. You need to increase your color a bit. Like decrease it, I guess. You need to make it a little bit lighter. Okay, you need to make your color a lot a bit lighter. Sure. A lot more. No. Nope. You want it in between from what you're you're doing right now. So you see your where your white and grey meet. I want you to choose an in-between of that. Oh my god, I keep pressing that. I think there might be an easier thing. If you want to know how to paint gradients, there's probably an easier way for you to do it, which is just painting along, like, from light to dark on a flat plane. And figuring out which brushes you want to use. Photoshop is not the best like painting program for beginners. It really isn't. Whenever I use Photoshop, even on this PC, I would not be able to draw that even what you've drawn today without it coming up saying there's an error with being able to actually make the thing it's like oh sorry you there's not enough like nice room strokes. i want you to go up to your brushes and i want you to select a different brush and not mess with it too much i want you to show me what brushes you have What's under the dry media brushes? Uh, my flow is not the right level, by the way. Pass it to it and see what that does, just one at a time, seeing how it impacts the brush. There's no hardness on this brush. It doesn't matter, you don't need it. Yeah, that's what this brush is like anyway.
I think a brush like that would probably be better suited to what you want to achieve without having to mess too much with the settings. Plenty of opacities then as well. Oh my god, this is literally mind boggling. <laughs> It's like I'm literally learning Wacom and drawing at the same time. It's not fun. Mm -hmm. You can't learn Wacom without drawing though, right? I know. <laughs> so essentially, what you're wanting to do here, because it's a sphere and you're trying to make it look like a three-dimensional object, is you're wanting... What am I using here? Um, we'll get, do I have any color thing? No, I'm probably, is that my navi? Yes, I found it. Okay. Yeah, I have one of right. those as well, right here, look. Um, yeah, I know. So, look, like, right now, that brush is kind of ugly, right? It's leaving all these little bumps, right? That's, um, it's just kind of, you can see the spacing between each of the little strokes it's making. I'm not even putting them full colours. They're transparent. No, no, neither do I. Wait, they're completely transparent? Oh yeah, uh, I can they're see partly transparent, yeah. That's the flow. That's the yeah. I'm using my mouse right now, by the way. I'm doing a better <laughs> job with the mouse than I do and the Wacom. Okay, set the right. Wacom directly in front of you. So it's facing square on with your screen. I'll have to move my keyboard, but okay. You won't need your keyboard much. Maybe keep handy, like, Control z or something. But I want you to go to a different, like, part of your screen. Or a new layer, or something. Whichever you want. Oh. And I just want you to... Pick right, some random colors, getting darker all the way to black. Can I use swatches? Yeah. Okay. Then what you want to do, um, so you have obviously this this color, this lighter white color. You want to take it like an in between color with a lower pa opacity on your um, thing. You want to like go over both of them and then. If you need to, you go to a lighter color and you make that fade in by going through the colors back to white. And you do that between each of those. And you keep going until You've got a nice gradient just from color picking, and it doesn't have to be totally smooth. That doesn't matter. You can always make bits smoother, but it's not always nice having completely flat textures either in drawing. If you wanted to make painting, you might want some hard edges, some bits that usually you'd think in normal life would be flat, but you might want a bit of a texture or edge. And then once you've done that and it's gone from white to black you then want to transfer that to wrapping around a shape
It doesn't matter about like staying in between those lines. You can always use a bit extra space if you need it. You know. Let's say I had this gradient here. What would you suggest doing? Which bet? It would actually help if I had done it in full. Um. Even take two colors, like, look. Um. Here, I got four colors here. Okay, so one thing you could do is reduce the opacity of flow. So you just build up between the two. So you add each of the colors. So work on like the top half of it or the bottom half of it or something. So you're not filling the entire. So how do thing. I mix the colors? So you can select one and you could reduce that down on the side thing to one that's in between, or you can reduce the opacity and work in and out of each one. So if I, for example, if I take uh, black, like that. right, that's full opacity, yeah, and then I take a medium to light gray, I can take somewhere in between, reduce my opacity, and, you know, I can start to build that back and forth into each side, right? And then I can take a darker color and work that back over. And then go a bit lighter to this side. You don't need perfect flat color, you know, not what you def desperately need because people work in different styles and not everyone uses like completely flat tones of color. Could you take one side at 50%? Okay, wait, let me go back. And then I'm gonna have to get something to eat because I have not eaten. Look at this. You got these four colors, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go to like a soft round brush. Oh, it's got pressure on opacity. I don't want that. 100% flow, 100% opacity. Oh, sweet Jesus, what have I done? Just this. There's no pressure. Sure. What are you saying? Take this, bring down the opacity. This color. And do I paint some over here? Sure. And then work further back, getting the darker by building the layer up. What do you mean? So you, you wouldn't get it darker, but you get it more like that saturated, I guess, even though it's gray. But yeah, so you'd be building up to where that line is no longer completely like, you know, dense and hard, I guess. How do I make this? Do I just paint over it again? Now? Yeah. You At just a do lower it in the opacity? opposite way. Yeah. You lower the opacity, or what do you do? If you want to, if you feel like you need more control in terms of that, you don't like want that. it to affect it as much. Yeah. And then you take that color into the dark side, and then you get the dark color, take it into the lighterish side, not all the way over to the very far side, but you know, into the side you just painted. It takes a bit of practice. I'm definitely not using the best brush for this right now. Really not. So I guess this brush is similar to what you're using, isn't it? I had that on full thing. Yeah, that would be similar to yours.
because I'm just reducing the pressure that I put on. Yeah, sometimes I'm just not understanding how much pressure actually needs to be applied. Like, you're not doing a bad job. It's just understanding how it works, understanding how to achieve it with the Wacom. After brush, hmm? after brush helps. Yep. Like that. Mhm. Mm what you can do now is you can translate that to blending out those um, areas you have on the sphere. So if you take it from light to dark, that's probably your best way of doing it. Um, I mean, just on the take the white, blend it into that slightly darker gray, and then take that light gray and blend it into the one below. And like use those lines as a guide, the shape your gradient needs to be in. And if you want, just work your way down the middle and then at each side of that strand down the center, you know, until you've got the idea of it.
feel like it lost some of its 3D-ness. It will have a bit because you don't have quite as well defined a shape anymore. And that's why having things too flat is not always a good thing. But getting the gradient, you didn't do half bad. It was darker than it should have been. And the contrast between the light and dark was too high, but it was a start. And you're getting to understand how the pens work a bit better and which ones might do certain jobs a bit better. Don't take a break in Fortnite. Fucking Christ, this Wacom shit is hard. And all you've been wanting is a Wacom for so I long. I know. It's just, it's fucking hard. Like, it's fine when I'm just doodling, but then actually trying to do something is fucking pens and stuff in Photoshop. Like, they have me in the Adobe ecosystem, I just don't want to leave at this point, you know what I mean? Learn something new again. Hell mm. no. Done. I'm done! Um, yeah, I think if you got um a different program to use to try out, the brushes might be easier, less hassle, they they uh, a lot of them are more obvious to how they will react like they'll be like this is a pencil and its line is like this yeah <laughs> this is a paintbrush and its line is like this it, to be a watercolor brush or a oil brush but a lot of photoshop isn't as obvious it's those shapes which i guess helps with some things but other things it doesn't help with I I don't think Adobe is all it's cracked up to be. It's, it's good, not. But everyone's it's all over talking. the top of that. I, don't I can keep talking. Yeah. Just mumbling away to myself. Yay, woo, fun, yes. mumble, mumble. Ooh, I found a brush I love. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, this would be beautiful for her. Oh, pretty. Yeah, it looks pretty. Oh, it looks pretty. 
just your doodles. Oh, I don't think it looks pretty. I think it looks horrendous. I watch YouTubers doodle to test out like brushes and, and I'm like, their doodles look beautiful and my drawings look worse than their doodles. <laughs> Gets me really upset. Um, these are some nice brushes in here. Ooh. You can get Krita on the uh, Epic Game Store. Okay. See, to be fair, I would probably prefer to draw on another program, take something into Photoshop to be able to touch up and edit. That's how I would probably prefer to work if I had access to Photoshop. So, um, I was watching a YouTuber um, and he tested out Procreate for the first time and he literally has fallen in love with it. And he's like, he doesn't think he'll abandon Photoshop, but in a few weeks he might change his mind. I don't think he will. There's uses Photoshop is better with. I give it that. But Procreate is an absolutely excellent program to try. And like, he could take that to a gallery or to a park and sit and draw like in nature like you'd take an easel. Ooh, I like that. Right, hold on. I need to adjust my space right now. I have wrong. You know what? I'm just gonna close. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna close this. I'm gonna stop streaming. And minimize that. I am going to file save as. Doodles and spheres. Probably spelled very okay. It can stay spelled that way. <laughs> I spelled spheres with about three extra letters it doesn't include. Hmm. Yeah, that can now stay that way. 